Prati Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 42nd Torino Film Festival. I'm very glad to be joined by Charlie McDowell, who is here to present the summer book. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. So I kidnapped you while waiting for your press conference. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go straight to something that really hit me while watching the film, uh, is that the film is full of silences, mm. looks, and there's a whole world inside of it. And when they finally talk, it's always like, a lesson learned, I don't know how to explain it. So I, I, I wanted to ask you, how did you direct those silences at those moments? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, the challenge of the film is, um, is a film that is quiet and meditative in, in a society now that is so fast and so rushed. <laughs> and, and um, you know, we have our tablets, our phones and everything that, that consume us and, and so for me, a, a big part of making this film was to slow people down and remind them of a simpler time, you know? And so a lot of the planning of that is, is the sort of meditative shots, the like long pans and, and these moments where you, where you sit back and observe and watch and, and really see what's sort of going on instead of quickly moving on to the next thing. So in the planning of putting this film together visually as well as working with the actors. So much of the conversation was about what's in between the lines, not what the lines are necessarily. Mm -hmm. And, and so, um, yeah, it, it was just a lot of discussion about, uh, being on the same page as to what the film is. I, I wrote down this thing that Glenn Close say, um, to their uh, granddaughter, the things I did when I was young, they were fun and meant something. They don't seem to mean anything anymore. Uh, what's your affection on um, this sentence for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I think what's interesting to me about the film is the sort of the generational gaps and, and the, the, a film about, about generations, you know? And, mm -hmm. and so I think the grandmother is nearing the end of her life and she's reflecting on moments of the past and 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 trying to kind of hold on and analyze what her memories are you know and and so i think for her um you know a, a time when she felt better when she was more vibrant um is is something that she um misses or is analyzing and looking at and and essentially letting go you know and so i i think there's quite a few moments with her where either through sort of observation without words or with words, she, she's really looking back and, and sort of making sure that she's okay to leave this place the way that, that she's leaving it, you know? And, and I think that's a really interesting thing to explore. And ultimately when the, when the young girl and her father sort of reconnect and come back together, for me, that's always the moment where she realizes that, okay, now my time is, is sort of done and it's complete I and I can let it go. Yeah. Uh, well, I think, was this film uh, for you also a way to, uh, uh, as a, I want to say, an ode to nature, to embracing nature, not in a naive way, but yeah. more like an experience, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I really sort of set on the journey to make this film during COVID, mm -hmm. I, I reread the book. I had read it before, but I reread the book. And, um, and, and I realized to me, there were two things I cared about in life. You, if, if you lost all your possessions and everything, okay, but what are the things that you can't lose in life? And mm -hmm. for me, that was my connections to my family and my friends. And then it was nature. It was the planet. And, um, so that really sent me on this adventure to go make the film. For me, I wanted to um, remind people of what's out there. You know, like I said earlier, I think we're so consumed by our digital world, our digital mm -hmm. devices, that I think we forget what this planet has to offer. And so I think if you're so lucky to be able to go somewhere where there is nature and, and immerse yourself in that space, um, you'll remember what that feels like, you know, and, and, and I got to have the experience of that while shooting this entire movie. I mean, we were the crew, all of us, we were living the experience as, as the actors were, as the characters were in the story. And 
So it was a very special way to make a movie. You know, you had no idea if a storm was coming, you had no idea what was going to happen any particular day, but you just embrace it and accept what it is. I love that. Thank you so much, Charlie McDowell, for presenting here the summer book, How Thank the Competition, you. at the 42nd Torino Film Festival. I'm Chiara Nicoletti for FRED, the Festival Insider.